President Trump and his embattled Deputy Attorney General on a collision course. And now we know they will meet face to face on Thursday. The question is, will the president can him? Rosenstein reportedly told friends he expected to be fired today because of a New York Times story claiming he offered to record the president and set up a perjury trap. But the president says the deputy AG isn't going anywhere yet. We'll be meeting at the White House and we'll be determining uh, what's going on. We want to have transparency. We want to have openness. And I look forward to meeting with Rod at that time. Oh, putting him on ice for a few days. Firing Rosenstein could have major implications for the Russia probe as he appointed the special counsel when the president fired James Comey because of the memo that Rosenstein wrote. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle pressuring the president to keep the deputy AG. But will Rosenstein hold on to his job or is he about to head off to the big Dancing with the Stars episode in the sky? Joining me now, Fox News contributor and former U.S. attorney Andy McCarthy is here. Uh, how does this landscape look to you, Andy? Looks to me like he hangs on at least through the midterms, Kennedy. I think what the people around the president are trying to promote is this sense of some stability. Plus, they know that if they can Rosenstein as much as he deserves it because of his insubordination, uh, you know, there'll be big stories about how Trump is obstructing Mueller's investigation. And I think they think Mueller's nearing the end of his investigation, so the last thing they want to do is give him a reason to continue. Yeah, but I think that, that you can fire Rod Rosenstein and allow the investigation to continue at the same time. And, you know, you're absolutely right about the timing. Mueller is nearing the end of his probe. Even James Comey, his best friend for life, said the exact same thing. So the question is, if you can't get fired for trying to create a palace coup to have your boss impeached or thrown out of office on the 25th Amendment, what can you get fired for? Yeah, well, that's a good question. I mean, look, if it was my call, he'd have been gone a long time ago. I, I don't know how it's tenable to carry on when there's not only, you know, credible allegations that he talked about wiretapping and uh, the idea that the president was not suitable for his duties, which is the, the whole idea behind the 25th Amendment. I, I should tell you, I don't believe that Rosenstein was serious about the 25th Amendment. I think, you know, that's such a frivolous legal claim. I can't believe that a lawyer as good as Rosenstein uh, would have thought that. But I do think that he completely miscalculated this memo that he wrote to support the removal of Comey. He thought he was going to be praised for it. He was roundly condemned for it. And I think he spent the rest of his time yeah, Democrats trying are still to get back in the good it, graces of... He's, he's certainly upset about that. But, you know, there are as many conflicts of interest right. for Rod Rosenstein as there are for Jeff Sessions. And after the midterms, the Department of Justice could look very, very different. And uh, conceivably, the Mueller probe will have wrapped up and the president could fire Jeff Sessions and Rod Rosenstein. What would that do to the DOJ? Well, I think that if they can work it out in a way that, it, you know, it seems that these guys are resigning, you know, they've, they've spent two years, that's a, a, a normal amount of time in an administration. If they can, I, I know this is a hard thing for these guys, but if they can take the ugly out of this and just make it like a normal transition, then I think they would get a more um, welcoming uh, approach from the Senate in terms of giving them new appointees. How important is it, is it, to, see like that, uh, how important is it to see that memo uh, that Bob Goodlatte is trying to get from Andrew McCabe? Well, I think all, we, we need to see all this stuff because, you know, we have an investigation not only of uh, what's going on with, with Trump and Mueller, we also have this investigation of the potential abuse of uh, investigative techniques. And I, I think it all ought to be out there. I was very disappointed to see the president sort of do a 180 last week on these FISA applications. I think all this stuff needs to get out. All right, Annie McCarthy, thanks so much.